Hey, this is Aaron with Bushcraft Devotions and coming to you with a, another knife, or should I say, knives review. We're going to be looking at the Buck 110 Folding Hunter. Now, there's a story behind the Buck 110 Folding Hunter, and let me tell you that story. The story is, I have two older brothers, and the middle to the oldest, he wanted this knife. It is the Buck 110. Let me put these aside. And... For Christmas, he got this. Now, he was the brother who did the hunting, who did all the fishing. He loved the outdoors. And I remember that Christmas. It was right, I think it was around the same time of Christmas that he got a 22 caliber pellet gun as well. And he got the Buck 110 from my mom and dad, the folding hunter. I remember that Christmas. I was younger, but he opened that knife and I fell in love. I was like, I like that knife. Now, he used that knife like crazy. Now, we lived in a town where he couldn't get really far away. I didn't think he was going to get anything with that 22 caliber pellet gun. But I'll tell you what, first time he went out, I think he got his limit of squirrels. So he would uh, hunt squirrels. He would, uh, mainly squirrels, but he would hunt rabbit as well. And he would fish. And I saw him use that knife to clean a lot of wild game and to clean a lot of fish as well and he still has that knife to this day and i remember wanting that knife for a very long time now my first buck knife i got was uh back in 1989 was the buck 120 general and i really enjoy that knife but i still had my eyes on this one and so a few years back i did finally pick one up and I sent a picture to him. I said, do you remember yours? He goes, oh yeah, I still got mine. So let's look at some of the stats on this knife. It, was, it came out in 1963 and it has become a traditional buck favorite. The length uh, close is four and seven eighths inch. The weight is 7.2 ounce. The overall length is 8.625 inches. The Blade length is three and three quarters of an inch. The thickness is 0.12 of an inch. And the blade is a clip point, hollow grind. The steel in this is 420 HC with the Paul Boss heat treatment, which means it's gonna have that durability of carbon steel, but yet it's going to be easy, so easily sharpened, it's gonna retain that edge longer and is going to be more corrosion resistant. So even though you want to maintain your blades, you're not going to have to maintain this one as stringent as a carbon steel to make sure rust doesn't get on it. You might be wet for a while. You might Your blade might be wet for 10, 12 hours, especially if you're out doing a hunt and maybe it's raining. So you're not going to be able to be keeping that blade dry all the time. But as soon as you get back, do your blade maintenance, Wash it with soap and water, dry it thoroughly and completely, and then put a nice oil on it as well. The handle is made of ebony wood. I think the exact name is called Krillicam ebony wood. I might be pronouncing that wrong. It has brass bolsters. And I've cleaned these. These are going to tarnish for you with use, with fingerprints. And a lot of people use brass. I use Brasso uh, cleaner to get it, to polish them up. Some people use, I think, called the Flitz metal polish as well. The sheath, it is made in Mexico, but it's a very good one. It is a nice jet black genuine leather. Has a the belt strap here now. Some of your other ones like uh, the Buck 112 Ranger has a loop and so it sits a little lower on your belt. This one might sit a little bit higher. Some people like that, some people don't. But it's a very nice sheath. Fits very well. It doesn't have a lot of play. It is made for it perfectly. Nice. Now you could put this knife in your pocket, but it is weighty. Once again, it's 7.2 ounces. It is a satin finish. Now some of the other ones say the satin finish, but the, the original Folding Hunter has, I think the best satin finish. It looks more like the uh, 119, the 120 or the 124 has that look to it. And of course, it does have your forever warranty. Now, keep in mind, a lot of people 
they buy knives and they think they're going to do everything with it. I would never suggest you chopping with this. I mean, it has a good lock back lock. So if you're going to unlock it, you got to push this. This one's still, I haven't used a lot. So it still has that tightness to it. But these are knives. Use them as knives. I'm not going to chop with this. I'm not going to baton with this. I saw a guy do a video of batoning and he broke the whole thing. I'm like, well, surprise. It's not made for that. You can whittle. You can do notches. Uh, fine with this. You can do uh, tent stakes. Uh, you can do, of course, feather sticking with this. And you can prepare food. You can slice things. And this makes a really good steak knife, I know. It prepares vegetables very well. You cut fishing line very well. Once again, you can clean game up to it. I've, I've read stories of people cleaning moose with their Buck 110 Folding Hunter. So this is going to do really anything you need. If you need something a little bit sturdier, I guess go one of the other backs that are fixed blade. But this was, was their answer for people who wanted to work from a fixed blade, but they wanted it more compact. And so that is the Buck 110 Folding Hunter. It is iconic. And it does have bass, brass pins here. And there's a steel pin on the underneath side. And that is for that very bottom one. But the fit and finish. And when you hear people say fit and finish, you're like, what's that mean? Well, there's some knife makers out there. When they make a knife, there might be gaps, big gaps here. Gaps here. There might be scratches. The wood might be raised or the bass or the brass might be raised too high. This one, when they say fit and finish, it means everything is smooth. Everything fits really well. The finish is really nice. You always have, of course, your buck and it has what it is. This is 110. It's going to have a symbol. If you go online, look up bucks date year symbols. You're going to find your symbol and what year it was made. This is an iconic knife, very classic. And so say you want the uh, Buck 110 Folding Hunter, but once again, it's hefty at that 7.2 ounce. So maybe you want something a little bit lighter. So let's just put that one here, sheath up here. So the Buck came out with the Buck 110 Light. Now, what's the difference? The difference is 7.2 ounce, 2.1 ounce. Length is the same, blade is the same. Now you're gonna see that this is a set and finish as well. There is a difference. The set and finish on this one is so much better than this one. But that's okay, you're spending a whole lot less for this one too. So both of these have the same dimension pretty well. Same thickness and everything. But the only difference is this has a nylon handle, which means it's gonna cut that weight down. Once again, 7.2 ounce on that one, 2.1 ounce on this one. What's that mean? Well, it means you can put this in your pocket and it's not gonna feel like it's gonna weigh your pocket down. You have a deep pocket, it just, it'll fit really well in that pocket. And it does come with a black heavy duty polyester sheath has your belt loop right there. But what's nice about it is, what do I do with mine? Well, this is my car knife. Can't keep anything more than four inches uh, in your car. So this is what's in my glove compartment. I keep in there. Um, so, you know, you go somewhere, you buy something at Walmart, you know what packaging is. Either you have to have a pair of scissors on you, you gotta have something when you get the car to take it out. Well, this is my something. It is comes very sharp. And you just take it out and open up that package so easily. Not really a lot more said. It does come with the forever warranty. Has a buck on there. Has a date stamp on there. So that's a nice one too. So once again, 110 traditional, classic folding hunter is the 110 light. Now, so say you have something you want just as light as this one, but you want to have a thinner footprint. Well, Buck got you that too. So let's look at that thinner footprint. I don't know if you can see that, yeah. It's about maybe a little bit over half the width of this one. 
It's gonna have some differences. You're not gonna have the finger part right there, the little groove for your finger now. The clip point is less. So it has a clip point, but it's less than this one. Does have your dual thumb studs. And here's what I really like about it. It has a very high positioned pocket clip. What's that mean? Well, I've seen knives where the pocket clip's down here. This part sticks over your pocket. When you put this in your pocket and it goes deep, this is flush with your pocket. So they're, they're, what they're gonna see on the outside of your pocket is that. And what's nice, because this is such a thin footprint, if you are a place you don't want even somebody see that, that's the buck angle there, you just slip it off your pocket and slip it right back in. This is 2.8 ounces. This is 2.1, so it's just seven ounces heavier. I think it's because of your stainless steel clip here. Everything else is pretty well the same. Has the same lock back mechanism. And with Buck, you always love that. I, t I love hearing. Now, I'll let you know, this is still a pretty new one. So I haven't got this done as well. So I'm a little slow on it. Be careful. The first time I did that, because it was a kind of strong, I went up and it started closing on me and I didn't catch it. I just lost my thumb. I'm telling you, that blade is sharp. But what you gotta do is just is just keep practicing with it. There you go, one-handed. I said, mine's still new, so it still has that toughness on it. But I'll tell you what, most of the time, because I'm used to these, I'm still always doing that every time. <laughs> you, do, you do that as well. Even though if you have a one-hander, you still find yourself using two. I love that sound. I could do that all day. But that would make the video boring. Anyway, so, and this is not the only Buck 110s they got coming out. They have other ones. They have the Buck 110 Pro, which has the I think the S30V steel, it has the G10 handles with the nickel silver bolsters. There's so many different variations. And now you can go to Buck uh, website and customize your own. And what's nice about these is you can collect them. You can use them. And uh, this one, once again, classic, traditional, timeless. You can find this so many places in America. And always go for the original, the buck. Hey, I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you would, just subscribe. I'm trying to build this channel. Hit like, share it. And uh, I'll have more videos coming out with more knife reviews. I'm going to be doing some uh, K-Bar reviews really soon. I got some K-Bars as well. But Buck has always been my favorite knife company. Probably always will be. Hey, thank you for watching. God bless.